Sidney Crosby, Alex Ovechkin. Two first ballot Hall of Famers, the faces of their franchises, and for 15 years now, the faces of the NHL. Crosby has an argument for best all-around player ever, and Ovechkin, quite likely the best goal scorer ever. After meeting for the first time in the 2005 World Junior Championship gold medal final, won by Crosby and Team Canada, they entered the NHL in October 2005 as the most hyped prospects in a generation. First overall picks a year apart, they delivered from the start and they are still delivering today. Between them, they've won 30 individual awards, with Ovi leading 18 to 12. Between them, they've been named to 20 postseason all-star teams, with Ovi leading that count 12 to eight. Between them, they've won four Stanley Cups, with Crosby up three to one. And between them, they've won two Olympic gold medals, both won by Sid. It hasn't always been easy. Crosby, he was criticized early as a complainer on the ice, and he's battled injuries, but you know what? He went deep in the playoffs early and won a cup in just his third season. Ovechkin was deemed by some to be too flashy. Remember the tinted visor and the yellow laces? And Washington's inability to win it all threatened to tarnish his legacy. It took Ovechkin 10 years to win the cup, and that was after leading some powerhouse capital teams that flopped in the postseason. But to say the least, these guys have seen their fair share of successes. This is the story of two of the greatest and ongoing concurrent careers in NHL history. World Juniors aside, the rivalry really began in their rookie campaigns, even if it was more of a media-driven construction than anything the players themselves were stoking. Both made the all-rookie team with Ovechkin besting Crosby in points, 106 to 102, on the strength of his first and, so far, eight 50-goal campaigns. Ovi also made the first all-star team. But Crosby had the opportunity to play alongside Mario Lemieux that season, learning from a superstar what being a superstar was all about, and that's proved important. In 2006-2007, Ovechkin finished fourth in goals with 46 and again made the first All-Star team. But Crosby took a leap forward Ovi couldn't match, scoring 120 points and winning the Art Ross and Hart trophies, the Lester B. Pearson Award. Most importantly, though, he led the Penguins to the Stanley Cup playoffs, and although they lost in five games to Ottawa in the first round, a young Penns team got a taste of what it's like when games really matter. The next season, Ovi went off 112 points, the Rocket Richard, Hart, Art Ross, and Lester B. Pearson trophies. No one had scored more goals in a campaign since Mario 11 years earlier. If he hadn't already, the great eights, he had arrived. For Crosby, however, the regular season was something of a bust. Yes, he dominated, barely finishing second in points per game to Ovechkin, but he suited up for just 53 games following a high ankle sprain in January that cost him all but seven games in the second half. But when he came back, boy did he ever. The next season, 2007-08, Ovechkin's Capitals made the playoffs for the first time, but Crosby's Penguins did him three rounds better, getting all the way to the Stanley Cup Final before falling to Detroit's stacked veteran-laden lineup in six games. To that point, any rivalry between the two had been more or less limited to their eye-popping play on the ice. If the pair had anything going on behind the scenes, well, it was muted by their back-and-forth statistical feats and the Capitals' relative lack of team success. But that changed some late in February 2009. With Ovechkin en route to another season of mantle ads, second straight Richard, Hart, and Pearson wins, the pair tangled on the ice and in the media after facing off during the season's dog days. With Crosby ending a shift on February 22nd, Ovi gave him a quick jab to the shoulder. Crosby turned, pushed his rival, and before any words could be exchanged, Ovi grabbed Crosby, and then the two were split up. The pair would make headlines following the game with their comments. What can I say about him, Ovechkin said. He's a good player, but he talks too much. Crosby retorted, like it or lump it, that's what he does. Some people like it, some people don't. 
Personally, I don't like it. A little over three months later in May, the NHL's two brightest lights moved their war of words on the ice as they went head-to-head -head in the playoffs for the first time, and they delivered in spades. Following hard-fought first-round series that saw the number two seed Capitals push to seven games by the Rangers and the fourth-seeded Penguins going six against the Flyers, the stage was set for Washington-Pittsburgh in round number two. Game one ended in a 3-2 victory for the Capitals, with Crosby and Ovechkin trading goals in the first period. Game two would go down in history as one of the greatest mano-a-mano -mano performances in playoff history. Another one-goal game was overshadowed by dueling hat-tricks from the two superstars. Crosby opened the scoring in the first, Ovechkin tied it early in the second, Crosby put the Pens ahead again midway through the second frame before the Capitals potted three straight goals, two by Ovechkin before the Pittsburgh captain finished off the night scoring in another one goal Capitals win with his third of the night. Two players scoring six goals and essentially putting their teams on their backs. With Washington now up two games to none though, it looked like Ovi had the upper hand. Crosby, he finished the series with 13 points. Ovi did him one better at 14. Those totals were the highest by any player since Theo Fleury's 14 points 14 years earlier. But the grade eight's frustration would continue. As for Ovechkin and the Caps, it was a lost series. Three of the next five games went to overtime with the Penguins winning each and every one of them. Those victories helped them storm back to win four of the next five games to take the series in seven, finishing it off by leading five zip midway through the second period, an exclamation mark type victory. Pittsburgh then swept Carolina in the conference final to get a second stab at the cup in a rematch with Detroit. This time, the Pens were too much for the Red Wings, dispatching them in seven games, led by the 21-year-old Crosby and his running mate, Conn Smythe winner, Evgeny Malkin. It took seven seasons after that first playoff matchup for the Penguins and Capitals to face each other again in the playoffs, and then it happened three consecutive years. Those series went six, seven, and six games each and provided pivotal to both Crosby and Ovechkin's legacies. The winner of each series went on to capture the Stanley Cup. Pittsburgh in 2016 and 17, Washington in 2018. Pittsburgh became the first back-to-back -back champion in 19 years and the sheer explosion of joy around hockey for Ovi and the Capitals finally getting over the hump in 2018 well, it was something that won't soon be forgotten. Now in their mid-30s, Crosby and Ovechkin, they show little signs of slowing down. Since entering the NHL, no player has scored more points than these two. And last season, Ovechkin, he won his third consecutive Rocket Richard Trophy. While Crosby, he finished 13th in points per game despite battling a core injury that cost him 28 contests. While the league is turning over to the next generation of superstars, don't think for a minute that these two will let any player pass them by without a fight. As for their rivalry, safe to say that the fire still burns bright for both. They are ultra competitors after all, but they'll let their play do the talking.